One of the newer protocols that a lot of people from different regions may not be familiar with is the avulse tooth protocol. And essentially this protocol is intended to be used when you have a tooth that has become avulsed or has fallen out. Um, in this case, we want to make sure that the tooth is intact. We don't want to be re-implanting any fractured teeth. And when you are handling the tooth that has come out, you want to make sure that you handle it by the crown and not the root. When you have a patient who does not meet any of the contraindications for reimplantation, and I'm going to go over that in a few minutes, um, what we want to do is to make sure that we um, gently clean off or rinse off the um, the root itself. We want to be careful that we don't scrub it because we don't want to take off any of the ligaments that may still be adhering to the root. So we're going to go ahead and just rinse it off. And then the other important thing is to examine the area in which you're going to re-implant the tooth to make sure that there isn't a blood clot there. If there is a blood clot, that blood clot has to be removed. So one of the ways that it can be removed is with the suction unit. You can just go ahead and take that blood clot out with the suction. And once that area is clean, you can simply go ahead and re-implant the tooth. When you do that, it's important to make sure that you look and see which is the inside of the tooth and which is the outside of the tooth, because we certainly wouldn't want to mix that up. And once you are done with that, you can take a gauze pad to put in between the teeth to have the patient bite down on, to kind of remind them that they should not be opening their mouth uh, while this tooth has been freshly implanted. Now, the reason why this has become a pre-hospital protocol is because the best chance for that tooth to be re-implanted and to take well is if it is done as quickly as possible, ideally within about five minutes of the tooth falling out. So when we do this, we want to make sure that we consider the reasons why we don't want to put it in or the contraindications. If the tooth is fractured, we don't want to re-implant it. If the patient has altered mental status, that would be a contraindication to trying to re-implant it because we certainly wouldn't want this to turn into an airway emergency. That would be frowned upon. If the patient requires transportation for whatever reason in a supine position, if they're hypotensive or something like that, we certainly wouldn't want to re-implant it because again, this can become a potential airway issue. If you have a patient that has any cardiac issues that require antibiotics prior to procedures, this would be a reason why we wouldn't want to re-implant this in the field. And the reason for that is that that would typically indicate that the patient has an, a potential infectious process or um, vegetations on a heart valve that if we do any manipulation of the teeth, it can cause the bacteria to get into the blood and then the patients can have a a complication of an infection within the heart itself. So we don't want to re-implant the tooth in that case until they have gotten antibiotics. Another contraindication is if this is a deciduous tooth, which means if it's a child's tooth, if it's not a permanent tooth, we don't need to re-implant it in those cases. So if we can't, or if there is a reason not to re-implant the tooth, uh, we would need to transport it in some medium to the hospital. Now, ideally, the best medium would be the patient's own saliva, uh, but any sort of a clean liquid would do. Sterile saline or even milk um, is a possibility. So one of the things that you can consider doing is to uh, take a saline flush and open up the saline flush. And use the saline in there in order to transport the tooth. You can take the plunger out of the back. You can put the tooth in the saline. Put the plunger on the other end and remove the air out of the distal port. 
If you do that, it's obviously important that we make sure that we label it and that we don't throw this out with uh, the rest of the equipment at the end of the call because we have our tooth in here. Uh, but there are many ways of transporting a tooth. This is just one idea for you to keep in the back of your mind.